a man in motion. That's Anderson. He pulls up on the right side. Pitch back. Ron Sancho is there. Fine defensive play as he puts the stop on Phillips for a loss. Well, after you watch by at the skill positions. That's Mike Davis at quarterback. Sophomore out of Oklahoma, Mississippi. Hand off, not much there, and a big hit at the 20-yard line, and a bubble on the play. Tigers think they have it. And the Tigers do have it. Tigers ball. And we got Daryl Phillips in on the play, as always, the nose guard. 6'2", 245, a junior from Franklin. You see it from the side at field level, and the fumble is made real early. It looked like uh, Eric Hill stripped the ball away from the ball carrier. There, he knocked it right through, and I don't know who came up with it, whether it was Nicky Hazard or Ron Sancho, but everybody was after the football, and the Tigers got it. Second down and three. Bulldogs of Mississippi State. That's Hadley in motion. Little delay. He's got the first down across the 30, and he's got more of the 35 to 40. Tigers knock him out of bounds at the 47-yard line, and a pretty good run by Hank Phillips out of Meridian, Mississippi. A six foot one, 205-pound junior, 22 yards gained on the play. And it was a good run. It's a draw play, and Phillips starts off to the left side, cuts back over, gets past Nicky Hazard. Pearson misses the tackle. Ron Sancho comes all the way across the field, makes the tackle with the help of Chris Carrier. But they've got to score touchdowns. That's why they lost that game. And they're going to have to produce to score some points tonight. Davis wants to throw again. He's in trouble. He's going to scramble. And a shirt tackle. That looked like Sancho got him, number 52. Boy, he plays with a lot of emotion. We've seen him all year, and he is usually all over the field. And Clint James. And that's as fatal a mistake as you can make. That's a big turnaround. Phillips fights for yardage. And he gets down inside the Tiger 20. Ron Sancho again on the tackle. Wood, a freshman out of Scottsboro, Alabama. Bulldogs in the eye. Phillips again gets a call. Spins, fights his way to the 35-yard line. Nicky Hazard getting up from that pile along with Ron Sancho. Sancho's been pretty busy tonight. And Tommy Clapp is wondering the ball, but the pass was perfectly thrown. Anderson made a great catch on it. He has three catches for 62 yards. There's a carry up to about the 38-yard line. And a gain of about three on the play for Williams. Williams, a 6'2", 199-pound freshman out of Jackson, Mississippi. Sancho and Phillips combined for the Tigers of LSU. Option play. He had nowhere to go. Phillips and Sancho was right there waiting on him as his feet went out from under him. And had he stayed up, Doug, he would have really got a shot from Sancho. He did the right thing. <laughs> he slid into second base. LSU had the play diagnosed well. They executed the defense well, and Ron Sancho was there to make the big hit on Phillips. Well, the Tiger offense, where the defense starting to come to life here now, they've been burned a little bit. Second down and nine. Man in motion to the near side. Quarterback in trouble, and he's hauled down behind the line by Ron Sancho. Playing a whale of a defensive game for the Tigers of LSU. A junior out of Avondale, Louisiana. 6'3", 225, a junior. And he took the perfect position. Watch him shed the blocker, and then he comes inside, and he was smart. He made sure that he had a hold of Underwood, but he also tried to nudge that ball out of his hand. And they're certainly in it right now on a third down and seven at their own 23-yard line, trailing just by seven points. There's the draw play to Phillips. Tigers do a good job. And that'll force the Bulldogs to punt away the football. Tommy Clapp, Ron Sancho. Sancho's had a great game at linebacker for the Tigers of LSU. And it appears that LSU's defense started out this game being wary of Mississippi State throwing capabilities with the left. Fourth and goal at the one-foot line. Phillips 
Did he make it? No, the Tigers stop him. LSU was held in a great goal line stand. There's Marlboro fired up as the entire LSU defense converged on Phillips. He was close, but he didn't get it. And that was a great play. The LSU defensive line submarine, and that lowers all of the offensive linemen. Gives your linebackers a chance to come up and make the hit from behind. Let's look from the end zone. Watch the linebackers. They come up. Sancho is there. Nicky Hazard is there. Tough place to start for the Tigers, but it's a long Underwood wants to throw. He's got a little time. Pass is complete. Hazard has him. But it's down inside the LSU 35 to about the 32-yard line. But a flag is down at the 35, and let's see what the call is on this particular play. Clint James finally got some good pressure on it. It's Ron Sancho. Boy, he has been all over the field for LSU tonight. 2.49 to go in the third quarter. Tigers are backing up. Personal foul was a call, Doug. I didn't see who it was against, but Sancho came out of the ball game. So Mississippi State once again with a major threat at the LSU 17-yard line. Underwood takes the pitch, hands off to the up man. And he gets down inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line. Push on the carry. We'll take a look at that personal foul now. He's kind of a late hit, and then Ron Sancho retaliates. And seldom do they see the first contact. Many Sancho times. Sancho retaliated, and they saw that punch to the face mask, and that was worth 15 yards. It takes a lot of discipline out there to play football. Second down, eight. And, of course, we shouldn't forget the Maison Blanc gotcha defensive player of the game. Ron Sancho with nine tackles, six unassisted, and a right cross, which cost LSU 15 yards. <laughs> He's an emotional player, but, boy, he had a game tonight. I think he also had a sack. At the all-time leading reception receiver in the history of Southeastern Conference football. Congratulations. Sam. All right, go take a shot. Now we have our defensive and offensive players of the game. Mr. Martin, Mr. Sancho, Ron. Well, first half, you know, what, what, one of those things. Second half, you came out and dominated. Uh, you know, it, it, was, it was a physical game in the first half. I think they came out with the feeling that they were going to win. You know, it took us a little while to shut them down to understand what they were trying to do. They had a good attacking scheme in the first half. So, um, you know, we just we just fought with it, and, and sooner or later, the better team prevailed. I know you got uh, Shaw High School. Tulane, big one for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Sammy Martin, you came through in the clutch. You deserve it. Outstanding.